r slash ask reddit, what is the weirdest thing society just accepts as normal? Vloggers, everyone just acts like it's so great and normal to watch other people do mundane things, but admittedly it's pretty strange. It's the perfect example of how TV and social media have changed our way of life. People satisfy their need for companionship by watching others. I think a parallel to this situation is how we enjoy horror movies and thrill rides, most likely to satisfy our desire for fear and thrill that used to come from hunting and surviving as primitive humans. Maybe one day we will hardly interact in person at all. Black Friday and how far people will go just to get a discounted product. Amazon Black Friday aka discount and hopefully shift all this old shit in the warehouse to make space for new stuff which we will sell at full price for Christmas. I've always found family vloggers family channels weird. Why are people invested in a stranger's family? I recently found a crafting couple on YouTube that are super ducking adorable. My current life is structured in such a way that I don't get a lot of time or opportunity to have social gatherings. And when I do, it's only family, stay at home dad checking in. After watching one of their videos I get a feeling similar to what it feels like having a dinner party with friends. It was also a weird thing for me because I really wondered why do I like this so much and I couldn't come up with a convincing answer. But I keep watching their videos and I enjoy every one. So there's that. Asking how someone is as a greeting but not actually caring about the answer slash acting weird when the answer is anything but fine. How about we either just give up the charade and don't ask or, IDK, actually start giving a shit about people besides ourselves? I'm from the US and when my family visited England, people would say are you okay all the time, meaning like hey how's it going. It made my mom feel really self conscious haha. Circumcision. If it had never been a thing, and you tried to start it now, you'll be crucified. I like my circumcised penis. It looks like a German soldier. Mine looks more like a shiitake mushroom. Ear piercings on babies. To snowball off of that, getting your kids ears pierced by the manager of whatever store in the mall that does ear piercings instead of in a tattoo shop with someone who's properly trained and sanitary. Not even the manager. When I was 19 I worked at an ear piercing kiosk and we were trained with a 5 minute video, 5 minutes of the manager explaining it, and a cardboard ear to practice once on, good to go. The complex and mostly arbitrary societal rules governing which foods it's acceptable to eat with your hands and which you must use a utensil for. TBH most food rules are ridiculous. I like to have a big nutritious breakfast so that would often be something like leftover pasta and an omelette, or egg fried rice with peas. People would give me shit for it. That's not breakfast. Normal people eat toast or cereal. Mother duckers I'm just eating food I enjoy. People having to declare bankruptcy because they became seriously ill and couldn't pay their high medical bills. In the US. I. Declare. Bankruptcy. That it's 2019 and dryer hoses are still flimsy pieces of shit that never fit and can be torn by a toddler. Do we not have the technology to simply attach an aluminum hose to an open hole with ease? Must I use that primitive circle clamp and a screwdriver in a seemingly endless battle that I lose every time? As a former appliance repair technician and moderator of r slash appliancerapper I feel your pain. Imagine dealing with 3 or 4 a day. That was my life for a while. Property tax. Everything else you buy. Everything else you earn. You just pay tax then and there and it's done. Own land? You pay tax on its value every year. Imagine if you had to do that for your TV, your car, your computer, your phone, your waifu pillow collection. In Virginia you have to pay personal property tax on your car every year. Putting a tree in your house for Christmas. Putting a house in your tree, as well. Epstein didn't kill himself, we all know it, but I don't think we're outraged enough. It's almost as if we feel there's nothing we can do about it or nothing will be done about it, and that's normal. Someone out there has the capability to infiltrate a US federal facility, assassinate someone under strict surveillance, and get away cleanly. What's ducked is that the American government doesn't seem perturbed at all. 
IDK if this is accepted as normal but more and more we see people being praised for such things as donating your personal vacation or sick time towards employees who have cancer or a dying child and have no more time allotted. Or how strangers are buying people cars after someone walked to work for two straight years instead of thinking how terrible and tragic it is that someone literally couldn't afford a car with their job or that companies do not always factor in situations that require more time off than normal. Daylight savings time. Doesn't save any money and is dangerous for everybody with more accidents and medical problems. I wish it would get eliminated ASAP. That it's only okay to take candy from strangers one day a year. Supervised I would think. And plus, you know where the strangers live so if anything happens you know where to find them. Following celebrities lives and their personal life. I'm guilty of this but holy shit this is so weird. Fighting over and paying ridiculous amount of money for exclusive name brands and products. Drug and alcohol culture. This. I don't drink and you would not believe the shit I catch for it. Like. Why do I have to consume alcohol? Like I'm not saying you don't have to have at it. IDC. I'm just. Not going to. It's literally not that big of a deal. The difference between how pets versus livestock are treated. Military historian here. During a siege or famine. The pets and pests are the first to go. Tipping 15-20% plus to someone that walks a few feet to bring you your food and tipping 0% when you order food at the counter. But they refill your drinks that one time. Sometimes. This has always been the thing that kills me about the service industry. The people making your food usually get paid less than a server makes off tips and it is a skill that needs to be taught, learned and not everyone can do it. Serving however takes very little skill and pretty much anyone can do it. Bank fees. The bank is basically charging you for spending your own money. My bank has no fees as long as I don't overdraft. But then it's not a fee for spending my own money. It's a fee for spending money I don't have. Homelessness. Actually, most humans that ever lived had a living standard akin to or worse than homelessness. Alcohol. It causes more deaths than all other drugs combined. Yet everybody just accepts it. And even jokes about it. Plastic lawn grass and to a lesser extent fake plastic plants. It is mind blowing to me that in a world where the natural environment is in peril, and insect species etc are disappearing at an alarming rate, people are laying giant swathes of plastic over their front and backyards and snuffing out the chance for actual living things to thrive there. We're talking about the plastic pollution posed by water bottles, coffee cups, straws etc as a society, and yet I have never heard anybody say anything about fake grass. Crazy. Other than that, plastic vegetation looks just as fake as it is. Grass isn't expensive and grows fast. Other than that, plantation tends to give a feeling of freshness and a nice fragrance. It is also very dynamic, as it changes with the seasons. So you don't have the same look for your house all the year. Plastic plants look tacky af. This isn't as much of a thing in English, but numerous languages use gendered nouns, and that seems absolutely insane to me. The USA's perpetual wars. When was the last time there even was an anti-war rally or protest? To anyone under 25, it didn't used to be like this, and you have no idea what the shift was like after 9-11. Corrupt government. Both sides. Since the beginning. Probably eating eggs. And I duck in love eggs. And drinking milk. From another animal species. When we're past the baby stage. In the United States. Every year about 50,000 people die in car accidents. Mostly everyone is like med. Also a super skeptical of self driving cars even though they never cause accidents. So that's real smart. Alcohol is legal and socially acceptable. Marijuana is not. University tuition in America. There is absolutely no reason for it to be that high even with inflation. And then of course boomers are going to complain about millennials who want federal student loan forgiveness when they went to school for a fraction of the price. Education is a vital piece of our society. It's a necessity priced as a luxury. Whoa. You made it to the end? You're a ducking beast. I'll cut you a deal. Smash like and subscribe for more curated content bruh. It's free and that's a great price. Bruh.